Disney Movie Night into a fun, unforgettable family experience and memory with our three fun ideas for a Mulan-inspired movie night. This first game is inspired by the classic scene where the warriors are being trained to the song, I'll Make a Man Out of You. And in that one, all the warriors have their sticks. We're just gonna use a yardstick in place of the real ones. And then you also want a cup and some marshmallows. Now in the actual scene, they hold buckets of water on their head while they're trying to do their awesome maneuvers with their poles. If you're playing outside, definitely add that fun element with the water where it can spill all over you as soon as it drops. But if you're playing indoors, go ahead and just leave the water out and put the cups on your head with them empty. So the goal is to see how long you can keep that cup balanced on your head. The twist is you're also going to try and defend yourself with all of your warrior moves while people are throwing, oh, I shouldn't have turned my head, while people are throwing marshmallows toward you. If you happen to be able to use your extra skills and you send one of those marshmallows flying, then you get to add five seconds to your time and whoever has the longest amount of time balanced plus all of their extra moves where they hit the marshmallows combined, that person at the end is the winner. Our second game is inspired by that epic scene in the movie where Mulan takes the last cannon that they have and instead of aiming it directly at Shan Yu, she turns it and aims it up toward the mountaintop so that all the snow comes in that avalanche over all of the Huns. So we are going to build our mountainside with marshmallows and then we're going to build our own little cannons. Now this little contraption is one that I've seen around the internet a lot but I think it's so perfect for this particular game. You need to gather marshmallows, empty paper towel or toilet paper rolls. If you're using a long paper towel roll, just cut it in half, and then also balloons. In order to create your cannon, you're going to cut off the end of the balloon, and then you're going to take the rest of the balloon and wrap it around the bottom of the toilet paper roll. This creates your cannon. You'll be able to just pull back and then let go, and that marshmallow is going to fly. You could do something like who can do it in the least amount of tries, or who could do it the fastest, but honestly, it's just fun to build the tower and then shoot at it and try and make it fall down and then do it again. <laughs> Missed. Let's try that again. <laughs> All right, well, Mulan clearly had better aim than I did, but such a fun game to be able to play. Speaking of that mountainside avalanche, our third activity idea, our snack and treat, is inspired by that same scene. Now, right as the snow is coming down, Mushu starts gliding down it and he's trying to find Cricky. One time he picks up one of the Huns, puts him back down, and then we get the classic line when he does find Cricky and says, you are one lucky bug. For this snack, you're going to use pudding cups to represent that mountainside avalanche, and also toothpicks to represent either the antenna on Cricky or the hair on the Hun warriors. So in this case, you can print out or make pictures of the Hun or pictures of Cricky, or I just made my own sheet that says one lucky bug and not so lucky. And then you can print these out from our website, familyfed.com, and then you're going to simply cut them out and then attach toothpicks on the back of them. And just to be extra safe that no printing ink transfers from the paper into the pudding itself, I like to at the end just wrap a little bit of saran wrap around the printer paper and that way it stays nice and secure. Then for each cup, I like to put three total sets inside with the toothpicks sticking out. One that is our one lucky bug and two that are not so lucky. And then everybody can try and pull one out and see if they are able to choose which one they think will be the lucky bug. And if they do, maybe have an extra snack pudding that you're able to give them or some little treat at the end if they happen to, on their very first try, pull out that one lucky bug. Check out more fun Disney-inspired movie nights at familyfed.com. I'll also put a link in the description down below. And I'd love to know what Disney movie would you love to see us do next to inspire your games and activities and even delicious snacks. Leave a comment so we can know what you are interested in. And for more fun, easy family activity ideas that make it super simple to create quality family time with your family, check out familyfed.com, follow along on our account, and show us some love down below as well. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.